So today's episode is going to be something a bit different. We're actually going back in time by two years to the summer of 2018. I was living in Spain at the time and I really wanted to get out and try this ocean rowing, this um, new sport that is really growing at the moment. It's been going for a good 10 years, but now it's really just taking off with marketing. So I wanted to give it a try and American guy that I know and an English guy, both adventurers in their own rights, um, they are legends in the rowing world, so I sort of proposed to them an idea to come to Spain and do some rowing around the Med. So they agreed and came over, and we sort of just did a film, but for film festivals, so it never really appeared on YouTube or Vimeo or anything like that. We sort of just aimed it for film festivals, and I thought it'd be a perfect time now to show, because I'm struggling to get out and do anything fun for you guys to actually see. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, it's a cool little micro-adventure. And then next weekend, I've got another little micro-adventure that I did in Zambia with my best friend. So the next two weekends are just going to be going back to the past. Hopefully you enjoy them. The quality is going to be great because we had a crew there filming them. So it wasn't uh, me with my trusty GoPro walking around. Hopefully you enjoy it. This was a, a, a rowing trip brought to us by a, a new teammate, somebody that we had just met, Richard McHenry and um, he's interested in doing more adventure in this part of his life and uh, specifically doing some, some trans-ocean rowing. And so he came up to Angus and I with this idea of doing, doing a row, something kind of a multi-day row. And so that's why we're here. We left from mainland Spain and rowed to uh, Mallorca. I've rowed the Atlantic Ocean twice the transatlantic race, 3,000 miles from, uh, from the Canary Islands to the Caribbean with Angus, and not only winning the race, but setting the world record as the fastest four-man team to ever row across the Atlantic Ocean. So at this point, I've got about 6,000 ocean rowing miles under my belt. My name is Angus Collins. I'm from Essex in the UK. I'm 29 years old, and I'm and professional ocean rower and I do love it. I love being involved in, in the boat build and the design of the boats. So the boat we've, um, we've designed is a R45, it's a four or five man ocean rowing boat and it's nine meters long and it's designed to withstand pretty much anything the sea can chuck at it. If it capsizes it will self right. Um, you can row it with two or three people. You can either be going at one knot or you can be flying at five knots. We've had a top speed of 21 knots surfing down a wave. So it's kind of built for everything, but it's a, it's a great boat that I'm always feeling safe in and I love being on. The biggest worry I had about doing this ocean row was the PTSD. I suffered in 2010 uh, some serious PTSD for a good 11 months where I couldn't even leave my house. Um, so to come from there now to be doing an ocean row, you are stuck on a boat and you've got nowhere to go. Um, so that, that was my biggest worry, which the first day I was completely fine. The second day maybe when I was in the cabin alone, just thinking, because that's what happens when you're in an ocean rowing boat, you do think. Um, maybe I was overthinking and so I did get a bit down um, but thanks to Angus and Jason with their great sense of humour and chattiness and joking around I managed to pick myself up but that was the biggest worry of coming on the social rainbow it isn't the, the hardness, the difficulty, the physicality of it for me it's more the PTSD, the mental, my mental state on doing these challenges because that's where I suffer most That's the whole point of this adventure, is to get out there as a team, and go out and row as hard as we can for as far as we can, not knowing what the weather and all the other elements are going to take us. And that's what we love about this.
I hope you actually enjoyed uh, watching that. I know it's only short, but uh, yeah, it's good fun actually watching it again. Uh, brings back good memories of being out there. Tough, but uh, good memories. If you do want to see the longer version, there is, I think that was about four or five minute long, that one. There is a full one that we did for some of the film festivals, which I think is about 12 minutes long. Uh, just message me and I can send it over to you guys or we can add it onto a Vimeo so you can go and watch it there. I just didn't want to have that one on YouTube. Uh, this was more just a bit more fun and active to watch. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Next week I'll be putting out something similar. It's more of a 10 minute to one and it was a trek that we did in Zambia, me and my best friend. So hopefully you'll enjoy that one as well. As I say, I'll be back out in the mountains soon um, with proper stuff for you guys.